Kabangan, officially the municipality of Kabangan, is a fourth-class municipality in the province of Zambales, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 25,163 people. History Kabangan is a coastal town that was originally located in Barrio San Isidro. Its strategic location near the South China Sea was very compelling that a group of few families whose principal source of livelihood was fishing decided to settle in that area. There was a time when this town was frequently visited by Moro pirates who were notoriously known for their skill in using spears. They came by means of their swift vintas and murdered some of the inhabitants and looted their properties. Because of this the early settlers decided to go further from the sea and left San Isidro. On their journey of finding a new settlement area, they passed through a hill where many palm trees were growing. These trees were growing. These trees bear fruits in the shape of large pots, locally known as the banga. The luxuriant palm trees were abundant in the locality that they called the place Kabangan. When the Americans came, they could hardly pronounce the word Kabangan, instead they pronounced it Kabangan. Since then, the people who settled permanently in that area adopted the name Kabangan. Kabangan was formally established in 1680. Justo Alinea 1898 was the first Capitan Municipal, which is equivalent to the position of the mayor at present time. The first Presidente Municipal was Mr. Benit Rivera, from years 1901 to 1902. He was succeeded by Mr. Antero Mora, 1903-1904. In 1905, during the term of Mr. Andres Dumaplin, Batolan and Kabangan were governed by the same Presidente. The usage of the term Presidente Municipal ended in 1906 and Mr. Raimundo Dacorun was elected to succeed Mr. Dumaplin. Mr. Dacorun's term ended in 1908. After this year, the people of Kabangan elected their officials in their town. Economy The municipality of Kabangan lies on the western part of the province of Zambales. It has a total land area of 24, 890 hectares and approximately lies within bounds it on the north, on the east by the Zambales mountain ranges, the municipality of San Felipe on the south, and on the west by the West Philippine Sea. The economy of Kabangan can be described to be operating mainly on subsistence. It is further characterized to be primarily an agricultural economy, with 20 of its 22 barangays predominantly agricultural communities. The municipality's main source of income is fishing, followed closely by farming and self-employment as the secondary and tertiary source of livelihood. Trade activities are done usually within barangays, as well as outside or with adjacent barangays. Agricultural activities in the municipality, composed primarily of rice farming, are done within the months of June to August. The other crops that are produced by the town's agricultural sector are corn, root crops, legumes, leafy vegetables, fruit vegetables, and various spices. Livestock marketing is composed of pigs, hog fattening, poultry farming of broiler and native chicken, as well as carabao and cattle farming. Kabangan micro industry are characterized by basket weaving, production of bamboo products such as furniture, furniture from rattan, ashware, broom making, and nipa frond weaving for roof thatches and as local hats or salakot. Commercial activities in the municipality are mainly those which aim only to support local economy. Existing commercial establishments are mainly located along the major roads of Kabangan. There is only one public market, located in Barangay Dolores and is about 500 meters away from the municipal hall. All other crop and catch sales are done either along the coasts, and there is only one bank, the Rural Bank of Kabangan, to support banking requirements of its locals. The municipality is accessible via the provinces of Bulacan, Pampanga and Bataan along the major highway network. It is 186 kilometers away from Manila equivalent to three and a half hours ride. It is accessible via the province of Pangasinan. Road condition is good along the coastline, however, going inland, along the mountainside, roads are narrow, unpaved, and badly maintained. The municipality has a varied topography characterized by high mountains to narrow coastal plains. The most outstanding feature observable in the municipality is the Zambales Range. 
The main drainage systems in Kabangan are the Tangay, Yavel, Killing, and Nanang rivers, all draining westward towards the Philippine Sea. The rivers are wide with heavy floodplain deposits. Numerous small tributaries around the area. Vegetation reflects the underlying rock types especially in the central and northern portions of the range. Gabro supports dense forest at low altitudes while periodite is generally barren. Lowlands are planted with rice, root crops, and other seasonal crops. The rolling and moderately sloping areas are covered with fruit-bearing trees. Barangays Kabangan is politically subdivided into 22 barangays. Demographics in the 2015 census, the population of Kabangan was 25,163 people, with a density of 140 inhabitants per square kilometer or 360 inhabitants per square mile. References External links Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information PCIJ, Kabangan and Zambales, unchanged by elections Map Geographical Location